Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me a clear and concise messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life at this time. What does Leo need to know regarding their love life? What does Leo need to focus on regarding their love life? Okay, please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. What do we have here? All right, the Hierophant. King of Wands. There you go. Fire energy. Leo. Okay, Leo. So you're in a committed relationship, I see. Okay, what, else, what other information do you have for Leo regarding their love life at this time? Can you please give us some more details as to Leo's love life? What do they need to know? What do they need to focus on? What about the Hierophant with Leo? You may also be dealing with another fire sign, uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so you may be thinking about a commitment star okay so the hierophant the king of wands seven of cups and the star okay so leo when i read your your cards energy can be flipped and there's multiple messages that come out they may not all tell one person's story it's a multitude of stories pull what makes sense to you and connect the dots in your own world because i just get a bunch of messages and i just spew it all out okay okay so i'm seeing here leo you've been fantasizing about healing a relationship with someone could be an aquarius okay because uh the star is the aquarius card it may also be Another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, if it's not those signs, it's fine. It could be anyone just saying what I see. Okay. So if you've been away from someone or you've had some kind of rift, the star is also healing. Okay. If you got into a fight with someone, You've been strongly thinking and fantasizing about getting back together with that person and committing to them, okay? You want to heal the relationship from the past. Well, heal the now from the past so that you can have a committed relationship in the future. For others of you, I'm seeing you may have somebody that is sick. Your partner may be sick right now. And you've been in your head, like if you guys were dating and, you know, maybe this person wanted to have a serious relationship with you and you were like, yeah, 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 whatever, put it off, blah, blah, blah. Like you weren't really taking it seriously and now that they're sick and it's like, oh shit, I might lose this person. You've been really in your head and thinking about, I should have committed to them when I had the chance. You know, they come out of this, they heal, like I'm proposing, done, deal, okay? Um... For others, I'm seeing, one second, okay, you a relationship that you're in now, 
you have faith that this person is the one for you, okay? And you have been fantasizing, I'm getting, again, about committing more, whether it's a proposal or taking things to the next level, however it works in your world. But you, you're, you're seriously thinking about uh, getting more serious with this person, okay? So you have faith and that this is the right person and you hope that they are going to accept whatever further commitment it is that you propose to them. Okay. So lots of different messages here. Okay. So let's see. What messages do we have for you, Leo, from your person? What messages do we have for Leo from their person? do we have for Leo from their person okay thank you okay so we have learning someone may be in the education field someone's going to be learning something new here it could be learning about your feelings for them when you discuss this um, this is their what did I say uh, their message for you Let me pull all of them through. Compassion. Okay, so they see you as a compassionate person. They may actually see you as, a, as an educated person here with learning. That's what I get coming through. So their messages to you is they think you're smart. You like to learn new things. You're willing to learn new things. You're willing to educate yourself. Um, compassion. They feel that you're a very compassionate person. You have a good heart. Relaxation. Yeah, you like to enjoy life and you know sometimes just kick your feet up and relax doing whatever it is that you do and peace they feel at peace with you they also feel relaxed with you so this is very good energy and, and nice messages that they have about you okay okay so what other messages do we have for leo and their person what important messages do we have for leo and their person Okay, integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Okay, that's beautiful. Expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Absolutely. What did I say? You've been in your head, right? You're ready to manifest your thoughts. These are your thoughts. And transform them into acts of love, commitment. Look, the colors are even the same in this card. Look at that. And it's different decks. I love it when that happens. Okay, so what else? Kindness goes with compassion. You are humanitarian, made of love, and you are able to share that energy with others. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for you? other messages do we have for Leo? Okay. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Pisces. If you're interested in timing, look to see when the new moon in Pisces is, or it may just be the next new moon phase. But meditate and contemplate. So you've been, like I said, in your mind, really heavily thinking about taking things to the next level with this person or just you know you're just you've been in your head good or bad however it resonates and here you are leo confidence is your key to success new moon in leo so we have two new moons here so by the next new moon phase which i believe is april 22nd based on when this video will be published there may be some activity here by the new moon Okay, it, but confidence is your key to success, so keep that in mind. So be confident in your actions when you want to pursue this person to further a commitment with them, okay? They think very highly of you, so be confident that your proposal of whatever it is will be accepted, okay? Okay, so let's see. What do we have here from the Love Oracle deck? We'll just pull a couple of these real fast. Any 
last messages for Leo. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Okay, so not only do you have a love relationship with this person, but you also have a friendship. You feel uplifted with one another, which makes sense here since we have peace and relaxation. Okay. So you guys are definitely going to get together, savor the moment. You're going to talk and everything is going to go beautifully for those that this part of the reading resonates with. Okay, so fantastic, Leo. You, these are your beautiful messages and that's all I have for you. Um, I'm doing a giveaway once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you would like to participate, please subscribe to my channel. Go to my community tab and on the post there for giveaway. All you have to do is make a comment and stay subscribed. But as an extra incentive to my subscribers, I give every single one of you a daily blessing. Yes, daily, every single day, <laughs> because I am so appreciative and grateful for all the love of su and support that you guys give to me so that I can in turn give that to you. So thank you so much. I'm excited to reach 10,000 subscribers. Um, I'm giving away three free, three free readings, winner's choice, and you will have 30 days to redeem, and I will announce the winner on that post that you make your comment. Okay, so peace and love, stay safe, and I will see you soon.